In this video, we're going to take a look at an update to Google Forms that changes the way you will share the form to get people to fill it in. Previously, uh, when you created a form, you had two options. You could restrict it to users within your domain, or you could make forms public and allow anyone that had the URL to the form to respond to it. Now you're going to have additional controls which lets you share it more granularly. So if we look at it, an older Google form, you'll notice that it has the send button. That's what we're all used to. We click send, we get the link, we get an email, or we generate an email to the people that we want to fill out the form. Now when you create a new Google form, you're going to see instead of send, you're going to see publish. And when you click on publish, it tells you that if you were to publish this form, anyone in Norfolk Public Schools can respond. Um, nobody is notified when you publish the form this way, but this just opens the form and allows it to be uh, accessible uh, to be filled out by anyone in Norfolk Public Schools. So if we go ahead and click publish, we'll see that it now changes and lets us know that that form has been published. If we click published again, here is where we can toggle this on or off if we want the form to accept responses or um, close the form to responses. Now, if we want to share this further, uh, more granularly, we're gonna click manage. And when we click manage, you're gonna see a couple of different things. Uh, first of all, this dialog box, the sharing dialog box should look familiar to you because it is now the same as you would share any other Google file, a Google doc, a slides, drawings or a sheet. This is the same dialog box. Down here is who has access to this form. Now right now the editor view is restricted. I am the only one that has access to edit this form. And the responder view is anyone within Norfolk Public Schools can respond to this form, um, but they have to have the link in order to respond to it. So let's say I want to share this with a specific group of people. Uh, maybe I want to share this with elementary certified staff and allow them to be able to respond to the form. So I'm going to put in their email address or the, the group name that I want to um, share this form with to have them respond to it. Here I've added the group elementary certified staff and noted that they are responders. They're going to respond to this form. Here, if I leave this box checked, the form will be included in the email notification. So I can enter a message here and say, please fill out this form. Elementary, the people who are a part of elementary certified staff will get access to that form. I chose to use a Google group here, but you can list individual users here if you want them to respond to your form. So I'm gonna go ahead and click send. And so now we see that the responders list has been updated. Anyone in Norfolk Public Schools and one other, the elementary certified staff group, have access to be able to fill out this form. I can copy the responder link here, um, choose if I want the long URL, or I can shorten it and copy that and paste it into an email address to allow people to be able to fill out the form. Now, if I've decided that I don't want the form to be published any longer, I can go to the More menu and click Unpublish Form. This form will now no longer be visible to those responders. Um, if they try and open the page, they'll see uh, a blank page, um, but editors who are still listed on the form can still make changes and publish it again. So I'll click Unpublish. So that is a quick overview of the new publishing settings in Google Forms. Thank you.